go lock in. Let's lock in. Let's go. Today's a work day. Let's, today's a work day. Let's lock in. Let's go. Work day. Work day. Work day. Let's go. Lock in. So, when you come, come up, watch me. Watch me. Come on, watch me. Boom, bubble. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Real, real fast, real fast. Corey Miner here, the head coach of St. Margaret's. Um, going on my, I guess, year five here uh, pretty soon. Uh, born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I went to Bishop Almond High School. I'm uh, from there, I went to Notre Dame. Uh, played in the NFL for five seasons. And an entrepreneur, business owner, and as well as mentoring young men. Coach Miner is the most enthusiastic person I've ever met. Good job, Jerry. Good job, Jerry. Good job, Elliot. And we build a real connection with him. Um, and so having him as a head coach, um, and him being out here and being as involved as he is, uh, it's, it's a great thing to have. And I'm, I feel very lucky. I'm going to throw this way. I'm going to throw it that way. Right? See that? See that? Oh. See that? Get inside. You got the power. We're playing three game season. That's all we're playing. Right? I think the biggest thing is for our, young, for our seniors to go off on a high note. Right? To say thank you for them, what, they, what they've given us over the last four years. And for our young people, we're, we're a very young team to want to come back, right, and say, hey, this, I had so much fun, I had so much joy, I can't wait to we get back in June and start over again. Those two things are my, are my goals. If it's just three games, there's no problem with giving it my, my all for those three games. And I've already given three years to this, to this team, to this uh, sport, so three more games is very small compared to those three years. Breaking down, boom, 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 hip shift inside and break out. That's going to get him to take a step away, giving us a lane. Understand? Okay. Yes, Push vertical, break down your hips, right? Stay even, shoot, and then come back outside. Right? It's, it's one step. It's one step. We have 22 guys on the team. We have four guys getting banged up last week, so we had 17. And it is what it is. We just fight through it, man. But the joy to see my young men smile and, and back in football, for me, is, is, is the most, most joy for sure. It's tough. It's tough. Everyone just has to give it their all every down. But when you have such, so little members on your team, there's just, you have to deal with fatigue and uh, it's, a, it's a big challenge. Let's share, we gotta share, we gotta share, we gotta go up, let's go. Yeah. We're going up to uh, Chalmers Field, you know, small school, small space, we gotta share, so going up, come follow, come join, let's go, come on. Nick Austin, right? He's a senior O-line, D-line. Three, four-star players going to Penn. Uh, leadership, tenacity, uh, willing to do anything. Just an amazing young man. I'm so, so going to miss him. Being able to play as a freshman on this team, I, I've looked at a lot of leaders, and, and I've needed to, to take some traits from them that I use now. Um, just trying to be as, as big of a leader as possible and, and just helping the young guys succeed. Um, varsity football is not an easy sport to play. Um, so we help out these freshmen need to step up and, and we get it done. My quarterback, Jack Ruff, right? New to the fold, right? Uh, taking over the team for the first time. A leader, right? Very quiet leader. Learn to be more vocal, which I, I love. Going to be a great spark, a great spark for us for this season and for next season. I'm really excited about that. Pistol, buzz left, two halfback option on one on one, right? Elliot Edward, also a junior right now, going to be a senior next year. Has played a lot of football for us. Plays linebacker, plays O-line. Very tough uh, leadership guy. Again, great qualities. Excited to see him uh, perform and prosper uh, next year. I like to um, just like raise other people up when they make a mistake and stuff like that. A lot of just minor mistakes can then turn into something huge because it can, you can just start feeling like you can't make a single play. And so, you know, telling people that it is okay and it happens makes them you know, improve it the next down. And then there's some young guys that we have right now I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about. Um, you know, Bobby Springer, uh, he's, he's going to be a senior, uh, but he's also a, a guy who's stepping into the fold, you know, brand new to the kind of playing, you know, more snaps than he did last few years, excited about what he's doing, get, getting better every single day he's learning. I'm excited about him. We have uh, Derek Smith, who's a, a young receiver for us, young DB corner, uh, great athlete, really exceptional for us, going to be great for us at St. Margaret's. Um, well, I'm a competitive person, um, and I don't take no for an answer. So um, I go hard every play, um, no exception. Um, it's just how I am. So, I mean, I, br I bring my A game whenever I can. Eduardo uh, Loya, who's really his first time ever starting as a senior, right? He's our starting center. He's worked his tail off to get here. He's starting. So excited for that, for him. 
Uh, just leadership position of being a senior definitely helps. Uh, like we have a lot of freshmen who have to play, have to start, and uh, they have a lot of questions. And I have answers that I can give them. If not, then I can tell them what to look for or what I look for uh, to find those answers. Uh, Chandler Bridgeford, our nose guard, big, strong guy, right? He's senior year uh, going out with a bang. So excited to have him. Just being a great role model and leading by example and allowing my players to get better each week by giving them a good look. I'm just so excited for our young men. Listen, they didn't have to be out here, right? They didn't have to be at all. They choose, they choose to be because they, they want to be around camaraderie, around their, their friends, around this atmosphere, hopefully around myself and our coaching staff. At the end of the day, I want to have, I want them to have success. I want them to live everything they have while they're in high school. Stay positive, get treatment, take care of your body, but get your mind right to get ready to get a win, all right? Great first half last week. Listen, we know we have 17 guys. That's never going to be an excuse for us, right? We hold ourselves to a higher standard. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Let's so let's make sure we do everything we can do. Playbooks, watch film, right? Get your mind right, get your body right. So come Friday night, we can dominate, all right? Nice job, guys. Way to work. Hey, Tarzan, on me, you went on six. One, two, three, five, four, five, six. Win!